Hello, my name is Avery Chernow, and I developed a K-Nearest Neighbors algorithm for a project in the ECE 759 Pattern Recognition course that I am in this semester. K-Nearest Neighbors algorithms are very simple and popular algorithms used for classification tasks in machine learning and pattern recognition. They involve classifying a test vector according to the K-Nearest training vectors as determined by a multi-dimensional distance metric. The ECE 759 textbook that I studied in class presented two such algorithms. A limitation of traditional KNN algorithms is that they use specific values of K chosen by the user, and a poor choice of K can lead to suboptimal classification results. The goal of my adaptive KNN algorithm is to overcome this fixed K limitation by letting the algorithm choose a good value of K for each classification task. There have been multiple past efforts to develop adaptive KNN algorithms. One such effort was published in 2005 and used binomial PDFs to specify the confidence of a KNN classification. Another effort published in 2010 used the training data to determine the optimal K to use in the classification task for each test data point. In my experiment, I implemented both an exponential and linear adaptive KNN algorithm in MATLAB. How these algorithms work is instead of specifying a K value, the user specifies a K min and K max to provide the algorithm with an acceptable range of K values. These algorithms use a decaying confidence level metric to determine a good number of K when classifying. The confidence level metric is based on K min, K max, and the number of classes present. During classification, the proportion of the most popular class must be greater than the confidence level metric for that value of k for the classification task to end. As you can see at the top of the slides, the confidence level metrics decay from a proportion of 1 to 1 half in an exponential and linear fashion for a two-class classification problem. I compared the performance of my adaptive KNN algorithms to that of two normal KNN algorithms with fixed k values. One of the normal KNN algorithms classified by a simple majority vote, while the other used a weighted distance metric. The details behind my implementations of the adaptive and normal KNN algorithms can be seen in the flowchart at the bottom of the slide. I tested all the KNN algorithms that I implemented on simulated and real world data. The simulated data was Gaussian in nature, with two classes consisting of multiple means, each whose data points varied from the mean by random Gaussian noise. The real-world data was obtained from the UCI machine learning repository. I used seven data sets, each with different properties, such as the number of classes, number of features, and number of observations present. Here I detail the results for the simulated Gaussian data. For my experiment, I varied k from 1 to 19 for the normal KNN algorithms. For my adaptive KNN algorithms, I kept k min at 3 and k max at 19 always. The idea behind the setup is that we can see if the adaptive KNN algorithms do a good job of picking an optimal k value when classifying compared to the optimal k classification results of the normal KNN algorithms. As can be seen from the table and graph on the right, classification errors for my adaptive KNN algorithms were consistently below those of the normal KNN algorithms. This result suggests that my adaptive KNN algorithm is able to choose the optimal K for each classification task, as it outperforms even the optimal K value results of the normal KNN algorithm. This is a very promising result. Now, I will detail the results for the real world data obtained using seven different data sets from the UCI machine learning repository. I had the same experimental setup for the real-world data as I did for the simulated data, again keeping k min at 3 and k max at 19 for my adaptive KNN algorithms, while varying k from 1 to 19 for the normal KNN algorithms. I found the following general result for the real-world data. Classification errors for my adaptive KNN algorithms consistently approach that of the optimal k values for the normal KNN algorithms. For some datasets, the normal KNN algorithms had fewer classification errors at lower k values, while for others, they had fewer classification errors at larger k values. My adaptive KNN algorithms always had a classification 
error that was close to the minimum number of classific classification errors obtained at the best normal KNN algorithm result. Well, not all my results are shown on the slide. On the right, you can see graphs for the results of two real-world data sets. The graphs show the number of classification errors for each algorithm as k varies in the normal KNN algorithms. The top graph for the balanced data set shows that the normal KNN algorithms perform better at smaller values of k, and the performance of the adaptive KNN algorithms is better is between that of the best and worst k values for the normal KNN algorithms. The bottom graph for the blood data set shows that the normal KNN algorithms perform better at larger values of K, and the performance of the adaptive KNN algorithms are very close to the optimal performance of the normal KNN algorithms. These results, while not as strong as the simulated data results, also suggest that the adaptive KNN algorithms can choose a good value of K for each classification task. I will now conclude my experiment and findings for my adaptive k nearest neighbors algorithm. Here is a summary of what I did. I implemented two adaptive k and algorithms in MATLAB, one using an exponential confidence level metric and one using a linear confidence level metric. These algorithms use k-min, k-max, and the specified confidence level metric to determine a good k for each nearest neighbors classification task. Through experimentation on simulated and real-world data, I discovered that the performance of my adaptive KNN algorithms consistently approaches that of the optimal K value for the normal KNN algorithms. The following are key insights to take away from my work. I proved that there is value behind an adaptive KNN algorithm that chooses an optimal K for each classification task. I was able to create an extensive testing framework to test my algorithms on both simulated and real-world data. I hope everyone enjoyed, and thank you.